Hey there, welcome to Nagel Kamasi. I'm your girl Kamasi. Thank you so much for tapping on this video. In today's video, we're talking about habits, what they are, how they affect us, how to form them, and how to break them. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel dedicated to growth and development, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and of course, mentally. I am using natural lighting, so if you see it coming and going, you'll know exactly why. I also may be looking down. I have a few psychological <laughs> research that I'd like to incorporate in this video. So yes, let's get straight into it. According to the Oxford Dictionary, habit is a settled, regular tendency or practice, especially one that is hard to break. Examples of good habits are reading, writing, working hard, exercising regularly, and meditating. Examples of bad habits are alcoholism. <laughs> the phone is about to go over. Alcoholism, drug addiction, being dishonest to others, stealing, telling lies, procrastination. Now, I believe that these are all based on escapism. So your next question may be, what is escapism? Now, according to psychological discussion.com, I'm going to be reading because I don't want to tell any lies. Escapism is a tendency to seek distraction and relief from unpleasant reality, especially by seeking entertainment or engaging in fantasy which a lot of us do to so on psychological discussion.com according to their website our brain turns our actions and daily behaviors into habits so we automatically start doing them without thought so they become a part of our daily life examples hissing our teeth sometimes i do it and i don't even realize that i'm doing it because it's a habit and somebody say why do that i'm like what did i do so i just thought without even realizing that I am doing it because I've gotten so used to doing it that I no longer have to think about doing it. And that's what happened to many of us, leading us to develop habits without even noticing. Now we're going to be moving on to how to break habits. Now this is the hardest part of the journey. So breaking down a habit are divided into three steps. Acknowledging, accepting, and analyzing. No, you first have to acknowledge that you're having a problem, a habit is causing you a problem. You then have to accept that you need to change it. Be very specific on what it is you need to change, why it is you need to change it, then you analyze how it is affecting your life. No, the first thing you can do is find out what your triggers are, the reason for your triggers. Now this is the part where escape museum comes into play the most because you'll be looking at the reasons for your triggers. Why you do them, how often you do them, what happens when you don't do them. So escapism is, as the word says, escaping from an unpleasant reality, distracting yourself, entertaining yourself with fantasy. You now need to look at the reasons why you feel that this aspect of reality is unpleasant. How has someone or something hurt you and why has it pushed you this far to find a habit that is not healthy, leading you to wanting to get rid of the habit, right? break a habit. Now secondly, you have to find a support system. Friends, family, somebody that you can talk to, somebody that you can trust. So you have to decide that you want to change. That's the second step. Challenge your mind. Don't just say I'm going to change. Challenge your mind because when your mind is open for a challenge, it gets excited and it gets anxious to see how far it can go because you want to, oh, your mind wants to prove a point to itself. No, when you do that, you have to understand that it won't be an easy journey because it's something that you do every day and trying to break out of it will not be easy because it's like you fighting against yourself with something that you know brings you some form of excitement or entertainment even when you know that it is not healthy, it is negative. Thirdly, you might need a support system. No, it is not always a case where you can find somebody that you can trust to tell your habits or your addictions because sometimes some of them are very embarrassing. You feel ashamed and you don't want anybody to use it against you. Sun is going down so it's getting a bit dark. But it's very important that you find somebody that can hold you accountable, that can push you towards your challenges that will be reasonable in times of need to remind you that hello you set this challenge and you're supposed to achieve and you're supposed to go over because you are capable of doing it our last step is breaking up our goals or challenges now you can't say all right i'm going to all right starting today a habit that you've had for 10 years you're going to say all right starting today i'm not going to do it again that makes no sense small steps count and i've always said this and i always say break it down to make it simple and easier for you to grasp the concept of what you're doing 
Now you're going to say, for example, April 1st to April 3rd, I'm going to see, try my best to go through the first three days without doing this particular habit. After realizing what your triggers are, why you do it, making a decision of wanting to change because you have to do those before analyzing what you're going to be doing. So you're going to say, all right, from April 1st to 3rd, I will go without doing this habit. Then you're going to say again from, on the 4th is a break, on the 4th is a fresh start. So on the 5th, you're going to say, all right, I went for three days before. No, the 5th is a new day. So the 5th, you start counting from once. So you're going to say, from the 5th to the from the 5th to the 12th, I will try again. So that means that it's three days already and your next aim is to do seven days. Now after the 12th, the 13th would have been a break. Now you're going to say, all right, from the 14th to the, the, the 22nd, I'm going to try and see again. So you go through those seven days again. That's seven. Those seven days again without doing that particular habit. The next time you're going to take a one day break, which is the 23rd, you'll be saying, all right, this time I'm going for two weeks right two weeks without doing it because you're already bracing yourself to see how long you can go without the habit you keep breaking yourself so i'm gonna go for three days already all right we can go for more than three days this time i went for seven days i can go for more than seven days this time i went for two weeks so this time i can go for three weeks the next time i'll go for a month then you can say all right the whole of this month not taking a break with, with, with seeing what i can do and what i can't do i'm gonna go through the whole of this month without doing that particular habit and have to take it after that month. I already went a month, so let me tap it up a notch a month and two days. That's how you take your time and break yourself out of a habit. The same way you did it to come in, you do the vice versa to get out of it. So you took three months and you're breaking a habit, and every other day you do something, and then you realize that it comes a part of you. Every other day without doing it, your brain gets used to not doing it. I'm not saying there are times that you won't slip up because you won't slip up because you're so used to doing that this particular thing, but Keep all yourself accountable along with that partner to remember that when you slip up, it's not the end of the world. Right? You can start over as many times as you wish. Don't let this be a case where you're going to get in the mind. Alright, tomorrow I'm going to try. Next week I'm going to try. And then next four months you're saying the same thing. No, I don't want you to get in that mindset and, and delay and put off and procrastinate and, and waste the time saying, Alright, I can do it again because whatever, whatever. You know how we are as humans. They like to put off. Tomorrow we start again. Tomorrow a new day. And plus, I already make my little mistake today. So, let me just do it tomorrow. You're breaking yourself back into that habit. It's also good if you can journal when you do things, how you feel when you do it, and the days that you, you practice, like the April 1st to 3rd, and then how it feels on the 4th without saying, all right, today I'm going to practice, but not doing the habit at the same time. So, you're not practicing and you're not doing the habit. How do you feel? That is very important. Right? So you have to take your time, be patient with yourself. It took you a while to get in this habit. As I said, escape from his plays a very big part. So you have to look if it's a case where you don't have no life, so you're always bored, so you always want entertainment. So that means you, you, you went and got yourself a habit, regardless whether it is healthy or unhealthy. So honestly, if we don't have any life, we're gonna be bored. And what you call life is not life because you're not living. So is it because, because you have a life, you're, you're bored, you need entertainment, you need something to fantasize about? Is it that you drink or smoke? Which nothing is really good or bad without excessiveness. So I'm not going to say because you drink or smoke it's an addiction because there are some persons that can ease up and you know why you do stuff. So I'm not going to come here and say, alright, if you drink or you smoke, you're an addict because that would be a lie. Just like how... 100% of the world, I don't want anybody to come against me with this, but procrastinate at some point, but you have some person that do it excessively and gets nothing done, while you have others that procrastinate, and at the end of the day, when something's supposed to go in like a work or a project, it is on the table, and it is well done, it is well presented, even though I don't support the analogy that you should procrastinate, right? I do it, so, yeah, <laughs> but you have to break it up as much as possible. So just like with anything else that you'd like to achieve greatness out of you, always heard of the word consistency. Being consistent is very important because you will be training your brain to do something continuously. So breaking out of the habit continuously will only help you. Now, as I said, escape from misery, read about it, learn about it, learn why is it that you feel like you're in an unhappy, unrealistic environment, why you drink, why you smoke, excessively that is, as I just pointed out, why you feel like you don't want to be in the real world. Look at the things that are causing you to think in a negative way. Energy cannot be created or destroyed according to what I've learned. So what you can do is convert that energy from negative to positive, right? 
So you have the power to decide what you sit for, what you stand for, and what you're able to do, what you're not able to do to break a habit. And if you've made it to the end of this video, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, tell a friend to tell a friend. Leave your video requests in the comment section below. Continue to have a lovely day, a lovely month, a lovely year. See you next time.